So as much as I enjoy dunking on Dave Rubin because I think he's genuinely stupid and doesn't actually have a political ideology, you know, I try not to talk about him because he's a grifter. He benefits whenever we talk about him, whenever he's part of the conversation, positively or negatively. You know, he thrives because of this. Now, the reason why Dave Rubin is incredibly popular among the right, in spite of said stupidity, in spite of having no core political ideology, is because he is that token gay guy who minimizes homophobia. So whenever a Republican says, look, I think that a cake baker should be allowed to discriminate against gay couples and not bake them wedding cakes, even if he or she bakes wedding cakes for straight couples, Dave Rubin is there to say that's perfectly reasonable. Believing that we should be legally discriminated against is acceptable because I, as a gay person, am telling you that that's okay. So he effectively ends up enabling homophobia and this hurts everyone in, in the LGBTQ community, but he does this because it's part of his grift. That's why he gets paid, right? That's why PragerU pays him to be in their videos. That's why he teamed up with The Blaze. They need a gay person to minimize and erase homophobia because, you know, that's how uh, they've been doing this forever. You know, Fox News will bring on a black person to condemn Black Lives Matter and they'll bring on a gay person to talk about how, um, you know, gay rights issues aren't actually that serious and there are bigger issues. I mean, this is what he does. This is part of his grift, right? So you get the point. And he's been enabling homophobia for quite some time, but he's ramped it up as of late. And I think people are starting to notice. So, for example, he shared this picture of AOC with the famous drag queen where he says, your Democratic 2024 ticket, ladies and gentlemen, and other. So the implication by sharing this is, hey, look at how weird the left is. Look, at this is a drag queen. This is a man dressed up as a woman. Isn't that weird? Isn't that strange? So what he wants to do is otherize drag queens. Um, and drag queens have been a part of gay culture forever that's that's the way it's been since before he was born since before i was born drag queens are just a part of gay culture that we celebrate um but he's trying to make it seem like this is odd now why is it odd well the underlying implication is that this is odd because this is a man dressed as a woman and this is a defiance of gender norms like if you're a man you should be dressing as a man but the problem with making fun of people for you know, um, defying gender norms, is that being gay in and of itself inherently defies gender norms, Dave, because you're a man and you married a man. That obviously is a defiance of gender norms, because if you are born male, you're supposed to act masculine and date women and be intimate only with women. But Dave Rubin doesn't realize that the very thing that he's trying to otherize and make fun of is the exact reason why gay people are, you know, discriminated against, why there's prejudice against people, because we also defy gender norms, but this moron doesn't even see it that way, because, again, he doesn't care, it's a grift. But, you know, lately, he's been doing even more things that are just nonsensical and downright damaging to the community. So, he interviewed Trump Jr. to promote his idiotic, cringeworthy book, Triggered, and there was this gem in here that I wanted to point out. I mean, you can find a Democrat that will say anything. I mean, there's some really loony shit that they're, you know, that, that they'll run with. Biden wants to send men to women's prisons if Correct. they want to go to If they want to do it, it seems totally reasonable. I mean, just randomly throw in some casual transphobia because that's what the right likes. Joe Biden is someone who I loathe, but Joe Biden is not saying that we should send men to women's pres prisons if that's what they want. He's talking about trans women. Now, I don't know the specific quote that Dave Rubin is referring to, but obviously Joe Biden is referring to trans women. Trans women being in women's prisons, which reasonable people view as something that is necessary because obviously they would be at risk in men's prisons. So the fact that he brings this up to prove how crazy the left is, I mean, it just shows you how far he's fallen, how much of a sellout he really is. But this clip that I'm about to play for you, it says everything you need to know about Dave Rubin and what he represents. So this is Dave, <laughs> this is Dave Rubin literally giving Trump Jr. permission to call him a gay slur. 
now we're equal. You call me whatever you want. You know what I mean? Like you, you yeah. could call me well, and that's what it right feels now. Like it to wouldn't me. mean anything to me. Oh my God, that's so sad. Dave, that is so sad. That's so sad. And the thing that really kills me about this is a couple of months ago in July, I released my PragerU parody as the character Rave Dubin. And what I said being obviously overly hyperbolic, it came to life. Parody became reality because of Dave Rubin. Take a look. For example, I get a nice bonus every time I bring up my husband and then subsequently give one of my right-wing colleagues permission to call me a faggot. Yeah. You could call me well, a and that's what it right feels now. like it to me. It wouldn't mean anything to me. That is so pathetic. Like, pathetic doesn't really do this situation justice. There needs to be a new word to describe that. You can call me a fag because, uh... We're all equal now. Unbelievable. Dave is a clown. My brain is still in recovery mode from taking in so many high-level important ideas. All right, so there you have it. Um, According to Dave Rubin, he's okay if right-wingers call him a fag because he's equal. Well, let me ask you this, Dave. If you lived in the South and not a $1.5 million house in Los Angeles... Would you still feel that way if you couldn't even like come out because you knew that your family would kick you out or disown you or potentially harm you? Would you still be okay with being called a fag if you knew that holding hands with your husband walking down the street could actually make you vulnerable to violence? I mean, the man is a complete idiot. I don't I don't know what else to say about that. Um to enable homophobia is one thing, but to enable it to this extent, I mean, this is just masochism. I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it. This is embarrassing and um, something that I guess we should have expected from Dave Rubin. Like, I, I honestly didn't think that he would literally stoop to this low, but um, here we are. Dave Rubin gives Trump Jr. permission to call him a fag because we're all equal now. All right, Dave, whatever you say, I don't give anyone permission to call me a fag. And I don't think any other gay person who's reasonable would want to be called a fag because that slur is dehumanizing. It reminds us that we are not like our heterosexual counterparts. We're the other, we're different, we're less than. So if you want to be called that, that's on you, that's fine. Uh, but I think that most gay people would have an issue with you trying to normalize slurs and the use of slurs by right-wingers against our community. But um, whatever, what a disgusting uh, joke of a person, shell of a human being. You know, you have no core, you have no ideology. This is what you wanted. I hope that the money is worth it. I hope it's good, you know, because damn, if I were in Dave Rubin's place, I would not be able to live with myself. I would be, you know, unable to sleep at night. Because I would, you know, hate the fact that I knew I was doing damage to my own community.